When automation and mass customization come up in conversations with manufacturing execs the world over, the initials B and R often pop up. It's no wonder. Berniker und Rainer Industrie Elektronique is the largest independent provider focused on product and software-based open architecture solutions for machine and factory automation worldwide. That's according to ABB, which last month said it would buy B&R for an undisclosed amount of cash. Why did this Swiss robotics and digitization giant choose to go after the company that Erwin Berniker and Josef Rainer formed in 1979 here in Egelsberg, Austria? Any suitor would love the fact that the expansion-happy company has grown its revenue 10 to 15 percent every year since 1979. ABB also said the deal helps it to build its machine and factory automation capabilities. Smart Manufacturing Magazine asked Geralt Haas, head of global industrial management, to show us an example of smart manufacturing inside BNR, which today employs more than 3,000 people. Here in Egelsberg, we manufacture automation PCs, or how we call them, APCs. The configuration pool is 250 billion different com hardware configurations from which a customer can choose from. These hardware configurations do not include the software options which, are, which can be chosen also. The typical order size is in the one to two digit range. Inside, an APC can vary in terms of CPU type, RAM sizes and type, hard disk drive type and size, and PCI size. Outside, an APC can vary with regard to optical signs like different colored flaps and customer-specific logos and labeling and branding. So what does this mass customization, or MC, of industrial PCs accomplish? The PC becomes a plug-and-play component. You don't need an engineer anymore to do any requirements or any changes on the PC anymore. You can also include corporate branding and corporate logos on the PC so it becomes a truly identifiable PC of your company. That lets each B&R customer protect its spare parts business. For instance, if you're Ford and you're making cars and you want to uh, make sure that the only your brakes are put onto a car, you put a Ford branding onto the brakes. As a company, you might even buy those brakes from Bosch or so, but you want to make sure that only good quality uh, brakes are on the car, so that's why you put a logo on it. We can do the same with our APCs. We put the company logo on the, on the PC to protect the spare parts business and make sure that only reliable sources are being used. We have got quite a few customers who want to have uh, their corporate branding also in the control cabinet. For instance, the company Trump, a company who makes laser cutting machines, they want to have the PC in blue with the corporate logo on it. We can provide that service so that the PC becomes a truly identifiable corporate branded PC. To accomplish all this, B&R first works with each customer to define a correct configuration. We then enter the configuration in our IT system. The IT system uh, does a plausibility check so that to make sure that the PC is actually buildable. After the check has been done and the work order has been placed, uh, the PC can be, can be produced. We collect all the uh, components which are needed to build the PC from our warehouses and from our inventories. All the work instructions, all the test instructions which are required to build the PC are automatically generated out of that configuration. The operator works on one kit after the other. He scans the kit number so that the system knows which configuration to work on. He is assisted by a guidance system that shows the correct operation steps. He also gets help from a pick-by-light system to help him pick the right materials to work on. The materials come right out of our uh, high bay warehouse. In our high bay warehouse we store 22,000 pallets st stacked 20 meters high. All the components are sorted in a way that they are easily accessible and, and, and can be accessed very fast. By the way the work order arrives at the work desk, all the components which have to be picked are already in place. When the work content of the first workstation is completed, the PC is put into an automated test system. It ensures the PC is functional and all the work steps in the first workstation were well executed. The second assembly station is also completed by a functional test. All the tests are interlocked to each other so that it is not possible that a test can be skipped so we can guarantee quality. After the assembly has been done and all the tests have been uh, fulfilled, we also do a run-in test to stress the CPU and the RAM, size, uh, the RAM components of the PC. A big part of BNR's story is the fact that its own production facilities have been fully networked for about a decade. 
We have connected our workstations horizontally so that they can talk to each other. We have also connected them vertically so that the workstation can talk to ERP or to our Apoll system, which does the line monitoring. It is far from the norm in manufacturing. We consider our network as one single cloud. We do not have a separation of networks between sales and engineering or any other network. We have all one big network. All the components, all the workstations, all the laptops are connected to that one, to that one cloud so that I can take a machine anywhere I want to, plug it in and it will work right away. Besides industrial PCs, BNR specializes in programmable logic controllers and servo motion based machine and factory automation. Assuming the ABB deal goes through, it will soon also be ABB's global center for machine and factory automation.